Okay, I'm out in uh, Sammamish and uh, looking at a job for uh, Sun at La Master Construction. Uh, this was a referral that uh, Hamilton and I got from Ian in our company and uh, done some work together. But they want to—they're doing some stuff on the house here, and they want to do an overlay on top of this asphalt to make it look good because they had some patchwork done and some crack fill. And they just want to make it look really good, and they want to make it look good from the concrete here and uh just doing a straight shot over and then doing an overlay i said two inch minimum um i'm gonna double check with wepler if if a one inch minimum is okay then we'll do a one inch but if it's two inches we'll do two inches so everything kind of slopes this direction right now and then when you get to about this part of the road here this is where there's a, a crest here and it kind of slopes this way and there's a drain inside the dirt there and then down in that corner behind the truck there's a drain there so a majority of this slopes that direction so if we put two inches on top it's just going to mimic what's here right now so that'll still slope down there from this crest here it'll all kind of slope down into the landscape and then they have a drain right there a little small 12 inch drain okay all of this We'll go down and be paved. We'll come back to the step here in a second, but we're gonna pave right through here. So they'll have the rock removed. We only need a couple inches. And uh, so you'll have two inches on top of this existing asphalt, but then two inches of this rock will be taken out. And this is where we'll be able to transition down to the concrete. Now, one thing we wanna do is we wanna make a depression in the asphalt so that we can create a valley. This being the high end of the asphalt, but having enough of a uh, valley so that flow line can go down and end up into this drain right here. So we want all water to flow this direction and into there. Everything in the main road right here will all flow down to here. Two inches taller, but get all flow going to this location here, okay? Like I said, they're gonna have a couple inches of that rock removed out of there. And all we have to do is just taper this in to the concrete, but make sure we create a valley over there. Uh, the asphalt's in good enough condition where we don't have to do any repairs before the overlay. Okay, now talking about the steps right here. Um, if we raise this up two inches, that means we've got this control point here, which is this step. And this step needs to stay at the height that it's at right now. So that means we're gonna have to do some grinding on about, oh, it's gonna be about 14 feet by approximately uh, eight, uh, about six feet over here. So about 14 by six. We'll have to kind of grind this down. And then from out here, so let's just say seven, right from the middle of that step, we'll go about seven feet that way, seven feet that way. And we make a little bit of a taper down to here. And then it's it's gonna gradually taper up that direction, which means everything's gonna get higher right here. And we gotta get that water to flow that direction. So that being said, you know, with that being raised up two inches, um, I might need to have Wepler come out and meet with me to see if that's gonna be possible to create that indentation and still get water to go this way. Or in this area here, if we make a little bit of an indentation, can we make it and have uh, some of that water that would land just in this spot here, make it disperse out into the landscaping there. We don't want it to, you know, just go in one area or the other. And you can also see that they have a drain right here that they plug they put in here so we could bring that two inches up depress this a little bit and then gradually kind of float it out that way but we want to make sure that the water in this spot flows out my thought is is we'll probably maybe have a smaller area to grind right here just so that we can taper this down and then kind of do it in a half half moon shape kind of taper that down and any water that lands on here will disperse out that way and then everything else of course will 
will continue to flow that direction. Because right here is about the, the crest. Right through here where water goes that direction. You can see it kind of comes down through here. And you can see they poured water here. And that water goes like that right now. So as much as possible, keep everything going that direction. And then in this little area here to depress it down, we can have the water flow on both sides. And then uh, it'll make its way into the landscaping there. Okay, so that's my idea. I'm going to send that over to Weffler too so he can take a look. And then we also want to put a price for 2025 to seal coat the rest of the way out. And all the dimensions I will have uh, put into Workman's Dashboard.